So welcome back. My name is Paul and I've been making a series this year about the Aura. And the Aura is our energy field. A lot of people know about it and I made a series about nine segments long. Some people may want to watch that before they watch this one. But what I'm going to talk about now is where how we integrate our own little energy system, our field, into the larger picture here. And it's very, very important because there's a lot of different concepts and physics laws that we can be aware of that allow ourselves to get stronger magnetically to how to integrate ourselves better into the sphere around us. So I made two little diagrams here about the different kinds of waves. On one extreme we have a perfect sine wave symbolized by a circle, a sphere, absolutely perfect pi, just everything eternal, and then we have the control frequency which is like a square wave which is the complete opposite. Everything is staccato, everything is like calculated, everything is determined. And you can almost put our universe and our environment in between the control and the waves, the natural wave. Between, for example, the grid here which is a strict uh, structure with 90 degree angles as opposed to a net that is fluid and there's energy moving and it's a lot more dynamic and it has a lot more possibilities. <clears throat> and our energy field basically it consists of a lot of different things. One is we have a, a heat energy, we have electrical energy, we have kind of a fluid motion going on in our body, and we have <clears throat> light kinds of energy coming out of our system. And all of that is similar to what we have with the Earth. And the Earth has an aura, you might say. And the interesting thing about this is that spin, the Earth has been spinning for billions and billions of years, so you can believe that its, its patterns have been stabilized for a very, very long time. Now, there has been shifts, as we know, in the Earth, and there could be again. But for long periods of time, the Earth stays in a stable orbit, and it spins at a particular speed and so on, and it's a very, very, very powerful force. Now, yogis and all kinds of mystics from all over the world have said, well, you know, if you synchronize your own personal field and get into a fluid motion with the rest of the planet, with the earth being, with all the other energy, just kind of synchronize, you gain a tremendous amount of protection, tremendous amount of strength, and better health and power. And Spinning brings into the concept of, of, of time, and time, in our modern world, we have the mechanical version of time. Well, okay, well, we don't want to actually make the year exactly 365.25 years. That's kind of weird, you might say. So they say, well, you know, we're going to divide it up into 30 and 20 and 28 or whatever, and the different things, and that's what we live on, you know, so we have a seven-day calendar and so on. Now. Nature doesn't work like that. Nature is a lot more fluid. Nature has different kinds of tempo. It doesn't have like precise, like say, let's say for example the sun comes around in a certain position in relation to the earth every so often, but on that day there might be different magnetism happening, different weather, different heat going on, and so on. So it's a lot more fluid and flexible, just like this over here. And if, our, if we want to have better health, we need to try to get our tempo, our personal tempo, off the, the grid, off the synthetic, off the crazy calculated tempos that we tend to live in. Now, granted, we have to do our jobs, and there's this and that, and there's all these routines, and airplanes leave on certain times, and so on, but there are alternatives in the off times. For example, going to the country, getting into a totally different ribbon. Sometimes if you go to a foreign country, you get a totally different tempo. The sun rises differently, sets differently, everything is completely different. And when you come back, you go, wow, that was amazing. But we can actually do that through different kinds of exercise. Now, for example, Tai Chi, I'm not an expert at that. I know a little bit about it, but Tai Chi is those gentle, subtle movements to be practiced regularly to get into a different movement where we, our presence enters into a synchronization with the rest of the planet. Now, there's some things that I just want to go through, some terminology, because I can't really explain very long, but, for example, 
everybody knows about resonance. Well, when you have something a resonant system, you have a peak, and you have like a pulse, you might say, or a stable a phase locked loop, or something a stable situation, a stable field. You can resonate. You can resonate for a short time, or you can turn it in. You can in a radio. You turn it in just slightly. Okay, you can just be off resonance just a little bit, and then with a little bit of effort, you turn a dial, just like we can resonate our own system from time to time with the whole planet, with the Earth, with everything, just to kind of feel everything. And then, you know, maybe we don't want to be in that state the whole time, all the things we do in our life, but there's things that we can do because that will help us stay in a very strong, stable field. Now, I'll just mention some of these words here. A phase shift, carrier wave. A carrier wave is a wave that might carry uh, some information, for example. It might be a slower wave, and the information it's carrying is on a faster frequency. The rhythm as opposed to chaos. Reflection, reflection, refraction. The different ways that waves interact. Prana, which is a prana energy is around us in the sphere. And there's different levels of prana, uh, but in particular, our physical radiation, warmth, and health, and all the energies that are part of that are part of our pranic energy. And I have to make more of these videos because there's a lot to say about our personal energy system, but mostly we have to do our own personal exercises to feel it because we can't really get explained. It's too complicated, it's too vast, it's too subtle, it's too personal. To have somebody go and say, well, this is the way it is, and your chakra is doing this, and then, and then, you know, because we're in a fluid state. We are constantly moving in this, spinning around, we're going around the earth, the earth is going around the sun, the sun is going around the galaxy, and so on. It's a constant spinning motion. So we can't escape the motion, but we can be in rhythm with it. We can be synchronized with it. And that's why throughout history we've had all this evidence of people trying to figure out the clock. They have the grid system on the earth and they figure out where are these channels? Where, where is it? Just like the acupuncture of our body, there's an acupuncture of the earth. And it's very subtle, it's very vast. There's, there's opening points of, of beautiful electricity all around the world in many, many different places of mountain peaks and this is it's just abundant. But our mechanical structures are often disruptive because we often have this grid thing and it doesn't allow the fluid motion and so winds even get channeled down in certain 90 degree angles and through the canyons and the cities and so on. So again, our need, our approach to health has got to be to synchronize our aura and our whole system with just what's around us. And sometimes that means taking a break and getting away from everything to kind of get a feel for our own system, get a a real intuitive sense of who we are as a person. And we have polarities, we have energy fields, and sometimes you interact with other people and it's not very harmonious. But on, on one pe the other side of the coin is, if you get into a system where you're resonating with another human being or a group of people, it can be extremely powerful. It doesn't have to be even a physical presence. There's, there's waves of energy that we don't see. Just because we're just, you know, our barrier and our own mind stuck to right in our skin here, that doesn't mean that's the end of it because there's a lot of other kinds of energy that are making up our system that are integrated with the rest of the, the universe and the planet and so on. So, again, thanks for watching, and I'll be making a lot more videos.